Some students had questions on the application of functions assignment, which is composite functions. Um, the first thing when using composite functions is make sure you label what your, your variables are. So we have um, h, in this case, um, it says uh, h equals, the height equals x, and then it says the length. The length equals what? The length is two more feet than the height. So two more than would be x plus two. We have f of x equals the area in terms of x. So f of x equals the area to find the area to multiply base times height or length times height. In this case, it's l times h. So f of x equals l, which is x plus 2. Now I want to multiply that times x. Whenever you get something like this, you always want to simplify it. So we want to use order of operations. I can multiply through by the x. So we have x squared plus 2x. That is what my f of x equals. That's problem number one. Problem number two, I want you to go through and do problem number two. Problem number two says um, we have, we have uh, g of x. And g of x represents 100. We pay $100 uh, dollars per mural plus an additional $40 per square foot. So we pay our $100 fee, and then we have, we're paying $40 per square foot. Now, um, in this case, x equals square feet, so it's $40 times x. So that's question number two. Now, question number three, we get into our composite functions. And question number three asks, and I want to show you the composite functions, we have g of f of x. So g of x, f of x means I want to take the x, f of x function, and I'm plugging it into the x of the g of x function. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the x, and I'm replacing x with x squared plus 2x, and then I'm just simplifying that equation. So f, g of f of x means I'm taking the f of x function, and I'm plugging that in for the x into the g of x function. If for some reason they ask for f of g of x, we would do the same thing. We would plug in the g of x function, and we plug in the x for the f of x function. So in this case, it would be um, 2 100 plus 40x squared plus 100 plus 40x. And then we would simplify that. Okay, So that's, that's how to use the composite functions. Um, I've done problems 1, 2, and 3. Make sure you simplify number 3. And then if you have any questions, make sure you ask.